clause, which is in Article 1, Section 9, Paragraph 8. He asked you whether it was best characterized as an anti-corruption clause. You might remember that in terms of foreign influence and foreign interference. And then he referenced the president and, and various allegations about foreign influence. I, since he asked you about it, and since he asked about foreign influence in government, I, I think it's only fair that, that I ask whether, hypothetically speaking, just hypothetically, if there were, let's say, a vice president of the United States who hypothetically had an adult son, who hypothetically worked for a foreign oligarch, who then sold access to his father, the vice president, and his father then intervened in a case to make sure that that oligarch wasn't prosecuted, hypothetically, would that violate, would that constitute the kind of foreign corruption that the Constitution's concerned about? I can't answer hypotheticals. Well, I thought you might say that. Um, and I'm glad you don't and won't, because who knows, that case uh, may come before you. But You're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. 